today we are at Palo on the Disney Fantasy and we are having brunch. If you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to check those out. Like I said, we are having brunch at Palo today. This has been one of our favorite things that we have experienced on Disney Cruise Line. So in the past for brunch, they had a buffet style for the antipasta and you were able to get as much as you want. Now, just because of precautions, they are bringing it out to your table on a plate already kind of pre-made. There's a seafood and there's a meat. So we got one of each so that we'll be able to show you all, all the things. And then you also have choices of breakfast and entree type items. So we did get a little variety so that we can try a few things and show you guys a few things and then they do also have complimentary cocktails when you start so I did get the uh, Prosecco <laughs> a little bit of bubbly to start because it is brunch and yeah we're just excited to be here this restaurant is absolutely beautiful and we will be coming back for dinner later this week <laughs> of the complimentary beverages here uh, I don't really care for any of them I'm not my for my palate but what's really cool is uh when you come here and you get something like uh, iced tea the ice cubes are actually iced tea so as it melts it doesn't get diluted it is always iced tea which is really cool if i don't spill it um, but it's the only place on the ship i think that does that maybe over in remy too but we didn't get tea so um it is unsweetened so if you do want sugar they'll bring it out but i prefer mine unsweetened so cheers tuna and uh, Alaska king cap leg. On the side we have tuna cap calls and the uh, gillip mussel. So on the side with the uh, saffron aioli and the uh, cocktail sauce with the uh, mayor lemon. Yes. For this side we have meat and cheese and the pasty. This side is slice of coppa. The coppa is a dry pork. The part from the neck part is very high quality and very expensive. And also we have brosella. The brosella is just only beef that we have in this dish. And the last one is all the pork. Yes. And this prosciutto, also this one is salami. Accompanied with the parmesan reggiano and also the truffle cheese and the chorinola, uh, olive and cherry pepper. So we're sitting here enjoying our brunch. And what I really love about brunch compared to dinner is that, at least for the time that we sail, you always get a really nice view outside. So as long as you're a party of two, they sit you this way, kind of side by side. So you have the best view of the ocean. Best view of the ocean, yep. And we've, uh, we've finally passed the Keys, mm -hmm. heading further south. And it's a perfect, a little bit of cloudy sky out there, nice and blue. Very nice lighting in here. Josh matches the sky in his shirt today. <laughs> yeah. The, the antipastas so far are uh, fantastic. Yes. Um, this cheese right here, which is a uh, which is a truffle cheese, Taylor really likes. Nice. I'm not a fan of because I don't. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Is, would we be able to get any more of the blue cheese bread? Thank you. <laughs> uh, for real though, everything so far has been absolutely amazing. I love antipasta of any kind. I like that they've got the seafood. It's a little, the um, ahi tuna that they have here is a little bit smoky, whatever they've got on the outside of it. And the crab is so fresh and I love the like citrus that is a part of everything. It kind of brightens everything up a little bit. And the meats, you just cannot go wrong with Italian meats and cheeses. And then the aged balsamic that they put on that Parmesan cheese, I literally could just slather all of that meat in that balsamic. It is so good. And then Josh just asked for some more of the blue cheese bread. It's actually a uh, focaccia bread and it's got blue cheese and caramelized onions in it. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Uh, they also brought us out some pastries. Uh, I only asked for blueberry muffin, but she was like, you know what? She's like, just, I'm gonna bring them all. Just try them, get a nice picture. <laughs> so we did, of course. Uh, the Danish in the middle is uh, like a fruit Danish. So it's got multiple different fruits in there. It is so nice and flaky and there's like a little bit of citrus in there as well, which I think really brings forward the flavor of the other fruits in it. Um, 
Still got a lot of food coming, but it's amazing so far. It's not really an appetizer, and it's not really the entree, so I'm not sure. But I got the calzone. Uh, filled with prosciutto, basil, bell peppers, and mozzarella cheese. This is exactly as I remember it from the first time, which now that I'm recollecting is like not really different than the first time. Um, as in giving you guys like more variety, because I think we did a video from that. Oh, yeah, but that was on a different ship. It was on the magic. So, I mean, that shows consistency. But, uh, it does show consistency, which is a good point. Uh, absolutely fantastic. I mean, one of the best calzones that I've had. And um, from the meat to the basil to the sauce in there with the cheese, I mean, all of those flavors blend so well together. And then uh, as far as texture goes, they're able to still keep the calzone itself, the bread. Uh, not necessarily crunchy, but it, but it still has uh, a little bit of like texture to it. So I chose to get eggs and an entree so i got the eggs benedict this is a poached egg and it has some ham underneath it served on a toasted english muffin and then it has the hollandaise sauce on top absolutely fantastic i am glad that this was actually only one egg or one eggs benedict instead of two because normally they'll do two eggs on a whole english muffin half and half but i'm glad it was only the one because it was a good portion for me to be able to eat by myself and then be able to have an entree coming after this but the poached egg was perfection as soon as you cut it it just flowed out and i loved that ham that was on there mm. so good everything is so good and i'm excited for the entree because last time we came to palo brunch which was the last disney cruise we did i got steak at palo brunch and i'm like a very big steak person but i decided i am not doing steak at every single meal <laughs> i'm gonna try other things so i have more of an italian dish coming out for my entree for my entree for brunch today i had the rollatini melanzane this is lightly breaded baked eggplant filled with prosciutto sweet ricotta and smoked mozzarella served on Toscana sauce and drizzled with aged balsamic. Now the name Rollatini kind of tells you what the dish is going to be. It is all kind of rolled up together and this is something that I probably would not have ordered anywhere else but our server told us that this is a dish that you have to try. So I got it and I ate the whole entire thing. It was absolutely delicious. The eggplant was nice and tender it was a very thin piece it was lightly breaded and the prosciutto in there gave a nice little extra flavor and all of the cheeses in there just absolutely amazing and the Toscana sauce was more of just kind of like a red tomato sauce and all of it together I mean it's kind of like if you watched our video from Remy uh, you have to eat everything together and it's just the perfect bites <laughs> for my main entree today i went with the artichoke ravioli with uh, morel mushrooms meyer lemon shave porcino romano and broccolini pesto i thought this was going to be a little bit more earthy than it was uh but it was uh it wasn't like that at all and it had a, a very kind of fresh uh, feel and taste to it, especially with a little bit of basil served over top, the broccoli pesto, and then uh, the Meyer lemon that was on there as well. So it was pretty good. And uh, one thing that's not on there that was on there were artichokes. So there was some artichoke on there as well. And uh, I mean, it was just really good. She brought dessert. Uh, I said I didn't really want any, but um, <laughs> she was very nice. She brought me the same thing that Taylor got. Uh, I just wanted some coffee. So I think it's a double espresso. And I just added some water to it so that I could drink it now, basically. And uh, so, cheers. For dessert at brunch, there is a lot to choose from, but I decided to get the five layer pistachio cake. This comes with layers of pistachio chiffon and dark chocolate truffle. And it's the plate is brushed with a raspberry puree served with some strawberries on the side. This is amazing. It is very thin layers of the pistachio chiffon and thin layers of the chocolate, the dark chocolate truffle. And it's not too sweet, just enough sweetness in there with that chocolate. Uh, this is very good. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish the whole thing cause it is actually quite a large piece, but 
very, very good. All right, so we just finished eating inside at Palo. I apologize <laughs> if it's a little bumpy right now. At the back of the ship, it's just bumpy. But yeah, we it, just finished eating at brunch. Fantastic. It was. It is a, kind of a long meal. It was about two hours for us in there. Yep. So kind of plan out your day for an hour and a half, two hours if you're going to do brunch at Palo. And it's a lot of courses. So make sure you look at the menu and pick out a few things that you want to try. And don't be afraid to share a little bit if you want to. Yeah. Have some it was else's. it was uh, forty five dollars per person, yes. and um, we didn't get any extras, so it came out to be about ninety bucks. Mm -hmm. And for Palo, at least for brunch, they don't include a gratuity, so yes. um, you know, feel free to leave whatever you feel is necessary mm -hmm. um, for your server. But other than that, I mean, it's a really great meal. It's yes. um, a perfect way if you're here with kids. It's a great way to, for you to kind of get a break from the kids yeah. um, because it is adults only, 18 yeah. and over. Have them in the kids club or whatever and then come yep. up here. I know that's what, what my parents did whenever we ate at Palo Brunch together. So uh, it's a nice little time to enjoy nice views during the day and yeah. just relax for a little while. But yep. let us know if you have ever done Palo Brunch on any of the Disney cruises.